All right, so this is probably the most eye-catching of the games I'll play today. So we're going. We went from RPG to pro wrestling to racing. Welcome to Drift Stage. Now, I actually jumped into this a little bit before. And um, basically threw together my own car in the workshop. So I'll try and play around with that paint job uh, for a couple races. I think... I think the Bulldog Turbo was the one that I used. No, oh, wait, wait, wait. Okay, uh, the stats are broken now, so I'm gonna back out entirely. <laughs> I think the Stallion was the one I had the custom paint job for. Yep, here it is, the bullshit mobile. Wait, with all of my bullshit. I didn't put anything on the front because the graphics didn't look particularly good on that. All this is missing is the Cherry Coke VPN logo. Well, there are only three tracks in this version. And they use the same thumbnail for each of them, but go with Island Test Track because that's the one that shows up on the, um, the main menu. Well, the title screen, I should say. Right, there are only like a handful of songs that were put into this game, even though it has a full soundtrack. And I can't remember the controls either. Right away, the audio balance is questionable. The music is extremely quiet. And just for the record, if I go into the options menu, you'll see like the music volume is actually supposed to be like noticeably louder than the sound effects. but the sound menu doesn't really do anything. But the drifting actually feels all right in this. Also, we just completed a lap, but the uh, lap counter doesn't really work. So we're just going to be at this forever. I thought that was Clarkson and May on the back. No, that is Australian soft rock duo Air Supply. And they are as unimpressed with this game as most people are.
Got wall collision also isn't quite that. Oh shit, the lap counter actually went up. I've never seen it do that. Shame there's not a right turn because you can't see the Cherry Coke legends on the other door. Is there a Miata in this game? I don't think so. Oh, let's do this. Okay, you can kind of see it there. I don't think there's a Miata, but I'm like 90% sure there's a vehicle in here that was inspired by the Trueno. Okay, we're actually at lap three. When I tested this before, I was on a track where the lap counter just never went up. So this is very new to me. I feel like I should be playing one of the cars that doesn't have as high a score for handling because it kind of trivializes a lot of the corners in this, like except for this turn. Okay, it's at three laps, but now the lap counter's at four. I'm going to drive this up to like six laps and then I'm going to back out and do a different course with a different vehicle. Actually, try this time. I touched the ball and like barely lost any speed. I don't know if I actually lost speed doing that. I wasn't looking at the speedometer at the time. Got six laps. Oh, you know what? I'll go with this just a little bit longer so I can get like a drift photo. I could do without that sound. Beautiful. Now, just for shits and giggles, I'll hit the multiplayer thing, even though I'm pretty sure, like, nothing will happen.
Oh, we could start a new Steam session. Even though I'm pretty sure no one's playing this, because the thing about this game is it never had a proper commercial release. The only people who had like direct access through uh, the campaign were able to play this game at all. Turbo. Let's go. The GT Turbo. I kind of like the style of that one. Turo. <laughs> Sakura. The back end. Kind of gives me NSX vibes. Kind of. I want one that has a really high speed for this next one. Okay, we'll go ZX. We're doing the Aqualux Labs. This is the one that I demoed before where the lap counter just never went up. Loki reminds you of the Sil-80? Yeah, I can see that too. Okay. I don't know why I'm bothering to pick the music because the sound balance is so off you're not going to be able to hear it. This map's alright, but the issue is, like, there are so few sharp bends in the track that you almost never have to drift, which is kind of a problem for a game called Drift Stage. Also, even though I picked a different song, the music from the menu is still playing. to drift there. I just wanted to drift because that's kind of the point of this game. The drifting itself actually, it takes getting used to. But if you have a bit of a feather touch with it, you'll do just fine. You can kind of see the bar below the lap counter is not changing color at all, which means it's like lap one goes on forever. So I'm not gonna hang out too long on this course, just wanna make absolutely sure that I do a full circuit. So the real shame about this game is it was going well and then 
for whatever reason, the lead programmer on it just flaked out. I'm saying I'll have something in a couple weeks and then just never did anything. What's funny is, he saw a game come out that sort of had the same like visual style of this and was also a car game, although it was more like OutRun than a straight up racer. And he said that in so many words that he was so pissed off at this that he was going to come back, finish Drift Stage, and then like shut the other guys down. Like get them kicked off Steam somehow. And uh, <laughs> even after that, he did not do a damn thing. minutes on this track. I am going to back out and do the third and final track that's in this build. Tiger Uchimaru, if you're there, I'll let you take your pick of the cars here. not there, I'll just pick something myself after about 10 seconds. Oh, 20. So you have a chance to respond. Loki eyeing the Venturo. Ah, oh, not a bad choice. Alright, so we'll take this and we'll go on the final course. Now I know for sure that this one has a couple of ends where you need to drift through. So, it'll be refreshing compared to the Aqualux lab. I was waiting for the right song to start playing. I think out of all the incomplete projects that I've seen, this is the one that I'm like most pissed off about not seeing its way to the finish line, so to speak. Oh, right. This is another course where the lap counter doesn't work. It looks like it's just the island test course where it actually works. 
And even then I have to put works in quotation marks because, I mean, it'll count, but it's supposed to be a three lap race, but it just keeps going on and on. for this game. I mean, unless I just go into the workshop and make dumb bullshit for like another 10 minutes or so. I'll at least play this one for a little longer. Just to make sure I have enough footage for when I do the eventual video on this. It's unfortunate that I've only been playing this for like 20 minutes. I'm thinking, well, I've shown everything. I mean, unless I just pick other cars for different courses. Five minutes on the lap counter is when I'm going to just cut this off and go to the next game, which will also be the final game. about the back part of thing. Alright, so that is going to do it for a drift stage. Unless anyone can think of anything else to do with that. Oh shit, I hope Myron's music doesn't get this thing fog muted. Yep. Right on, Tiger, that was a two step. Unless I create a multiplayer lobby and just wait. But who the hell else is gonna get on this game?
Good credits. Okay. <sighs> so, the thing is, this stream started with an RPG. Well, it's also going to end with an RPG. And I will get that set up in just a moment. I'm not going to run an ad this time, because this should not take long. Hopefully. <laughs> 